Good morning and welcome to Breakfast with Ben Thompson and Sarah Campbell. Good morning, our headlines for you today. Rebellion to retreat, a standoff between the Kremlin and mercenary forces which brought Russia close to the brink of civil conflict has ended during an extraordinary 24 hours for the country. The leader of the Wagner rebels and his troops will not be prosecuted, says President Putin, but Yevgeny Prigozhin has been sent to Belarus. We'll have analysis of what happens next for Russia. Good morning, an historic moment for Tammy Beaumont. She becomes the first English woman to score a double century in test cricket at the Women's Ashes. There's fresh conditions pushing from the west. Some of you could see some particularly nasty thunderstorms. I have all your forecast details here on Breakfast. It is Sunday the 25th of June. Our main story, the threat of a major uprising against the Russian president, Vladimir Putin, appears to have receded after a deal was struck which enabled the rebel leader to retreat. Yevgeny Prigozhin, the head of the Wagner mercenary group, has been pictured apparently leaving the Russian city of Rostov-on-Don along with his troops. Only yesterday, a heavily armed column of Wagner troops was heading from Rostov-on-Don towards Moscow, where defences were being prepared. Those troops got to around 300 miles south of the Russian capital. Well, then, at around 6.30 UK time, Prigozhin announced that he had agreed to stop the advance in a deal brokered by the Belarusian leader. With all the details, here's our Eastern Europe correspondent.